When your body and your mind tell you that you need a holiday, pay attention. As well as restoring your energy, taking a break can be healing in itself. And to put you in a vacation mood, here's Utica with a fun menu. During the summer holidays, I'm always looking for quick and easy meals to please a crowd. On the menu today, we're doing a saffron spiced chicken casserole. To go with that, some prawn cakes and for dessert, a malted chocolate cake. Malted chocolate powder makes everybody's favorite drink when it's combined with cold or with hot milk. And here I've used it as the main ingredient in my cake. We've got some soft butter in the mixing bowl. Add sugar, all of it going in. Let's cream the butter and sugar until it's light and fluffy. The sugar has dissolved slightly. Add the vanilla essence. I've got four eggs here. Drop them in one at a time with a teaspoon of flour going in with each egg. Remember to beat well between each one. Let's add half the cake flour and the baking powder. Pour in the water and this ensures the cake has a light texture. Milk going in. In goes the remaining flour and the malted chocolate powder. Now work this on a low speed so you don't have all that chocolate powder coming up in a cloud of dust. That's done. I've got a greased and lined 25 centimeter tin here. Release the mixing bowl, use a spatula, scrape the sides. You are going to have a few lumpy bits in the batter. It's almost like the crunchy malted powder. Pour that into the baking tin. This does look like the texture of silky chocolate mousse. Get all of that chocolatey goodness into the cake tin. Smooth that down. This goes into a preheated oven at 170 degrees Celsius for about 30 to 35 minutes. The cake's in the oven. I'm starting with the saffron chicken casserole and for that some sunflower oil going into the pan. I'm using sliced onion. You're also going to need some grated carrot and chopped leeks. In some casserole recipes, you can add the onion, carrots and leeks together. I prefer browning the onion first so we get a deeper flavor. To speed that up, add some coarse salt. I am using chicken stock for this recipe as well, which tends to be quite salty. The onions are starting to turn pale golden in color. Add some garlic over on the side of the pan. Mix that in. Add the grated carrot and the leeks. Fry this until the carrots and leeks soften slightly. A bit of fresh thyme going in. And if the teenagers weren't around, I'd add a lot more. Spread that around the base of the pan. Add the chicken pieces. I've coated this chicken in flour and then browned it. Tightly pack the chicken pieces into the pot. Pour in the stock. Add the saffron. I've got some pieces of par-cooked potato here. Layer these over the chicken. That's the last potato going in. Pour in some fresh cream. The cream adds a touch of decadence and it also soaks through those potatoes. Black pepper going in. And now some aromatic rub going on top. This one does have some chili flakes. Cover the pan with a tight fitting lid and that's all you need to do. I'm going to start with the prawn cakes. In a mixing bowl, I've got boiled potatoes that I've grated. Let's add the prawn meat. I've chopped whole prawns for this. Some fresh coriander, chopped chili. The garlic works really well with potato and with the prawn. Season with some salt, add some spring onion. Now mix these ingredients together. There's no glamorous way of doing this. You're going to have to get your hands dirty. Lastly, add the egg. And this is the insurance policy to make sure the cake stays together. Mold this mixture into little balls. And to help this along, you can just grease your palms with a bit of oil that prevents the sticking and roll that. As you can see, your palms stay quite clean. Press that down slightly. That's the first cake done. Pop that onto a baking tray with some greaseproof paper on top. I'm making a large batch of these because they do disappear off the platter when I serve them. Almost done. For the next step, you'll need some cake flour, some beaten egg and breadcrumbs. These are Asian breadcrumbs and they're a lot chunkier than the normal breadcrumbs we get locally. Take one of the prawn cakes into the flour it goes and then pop it into the beaten egg. If you don't do this well, you'll find some areas won't have those lovely crumbs. Lift that up and with the left hand, 
coat with those crumbs. The oil's heated up and we're ready to fry. Place them into the hot oil and the next one. What's really awesome about this recipe is that you can make up these cakes, let them set in the refrigerator and fry them just before serving. And moving these around quite easily without trying to scrape them off the bottom of the frying pan. And that's because of the nonstick spray. Let's turn these over. That's golden and beautiful. Lift these out the oil, drain slightly. Now some people find a light golden cake quite appealing. I say you need to fry them for longer or else the prawn's going to be uncooked. That's the last fish cake. Let's take that through. Let's check on the casserole chicken. It looks amazing. It's soaking up that lovely yellow sauce. It needs to reduce a touch more. Let's get on with the cake. I've made the frosting by creaming icing sugar and butter until it's super light and very creamy in consistency. I've added cocoa powder and condensed milk and a touch of vanilla as well. To this, top it with some of the malted chocolate powder. You don't have to sift this. The lovely little clumps add a bit of a crunch is quite enjoyable. I've reserved some of the icing to decorate the cake and I've placed it in a piping bag with a nozzle. I'm going to do a little arrangement on the side. A few more bubbles going on top. Now I've placed some cookies over the cake. Just arrange them. That's our malted chocolate cake done. Now let's check on the chicken. This is ready. I love the way the potatoes have absorbed all those flavors. They've turned yellow in color and it looks delicious. Garnish with fresh coriander. To garnish the prawn cakes, I've got some lime cheeks here. This is my summer holiday menu. We've got the delicious prawn cakes. They're crispy and beautiful, slightly creamy with a potato on the inside, a saffron chicken casserole, and the malted chocolate cake. We hope you enjoy these recipes.